Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lex. Today is going to be just a really casual video. I'm going to be cleaning and restyling my Ikea Rudsta greenhouse cabinet. This is it behind me here. So I'm going to be taking everything out, giving it a nice wipe down, and then I'm going to be changing up the design a little bit and use some different items to help stack some plants a certain way and things like that. I was recently cleaning my house and I came across a few items that I don't really use anymore for the original purpose, like this item here. I was using it for my nail polishes. As you can see, it is kind of like sticky from the nail polish and I can't get it off, but it's fine. But yeah, I was using this for my nail polishes, but I recently changed how I display them. So I figured that this would actually be really great to use in my cabinets. I have two of them. My idea is that I feel like this will be really great for like tiny plants, like all the Hoyas and stuff like that. We're gonna see how it turns out, but yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys along and maybe you guys can do your plant chores as well. And then I will show you guys everything at the end. So I just finished cleaning out the cabinet and restyling it. So this is what it's looking like. It's definitely looking kind of full. So probably in the future, I probably will take some plants out. But the thing is, is that a lot of plants in here have grown a lot and they're getting quite big now. So eventually they'll have to be transitioned out of the cabinet anyway. So this is the top. As you can see, I did go ahead and add in this like stacked organizer and I ended up just putting all of the Hoyas on here and I put my little variegated burrow marks back here on it and then I brought in all of the seedlings from my detail because I feel like the seedlings would do better in here because it's a little bit higher humidity than the detail so I brought um, this one this one 
and these here so I just stuck them on there I really like this a lot actually so if you're someone who has like a lot of tiny plants like this or seedlings I highly recommend getting like stacked organizers or something specifically I got this from Shein because I buy all of my nail stuff from Shein and that's what it was used for but you can find them at like Target or Walmart or on Amazon anything like that they're just like little like organizers but this works perfectly if I can find the one that I bought I will definitely link it in the description or I'll put something similar in my Amazon favorites so all the plants in here they are the same it's just I just moved a few around this is the only one that's new this is a little seedling I have of a syngonium so that's in here we have all of the aglaonema tricolors in here as well this is my little fuzzy plant that I always keep in the greenhouses it does pretty well as you can see it's grown quite a bit uh, another Hoya that doesn't really fit over there and then in the very back you can't see but that's the bin with all the alocasia jacqueline corms so this is the bottom of the cabinet it has the same plants in there I didn't really bring anything new into here I just kind of changed up the design of how it looks and moved a few around and I am holding the camera because it's easier just to hold it for this part so I apologize if it's a little shaky I moved the Monstera Albo in this corner over here and I kept it with the Monstera Obliqua over here I always try to make sure to hide the Obliqua like underneath of some leaves because it does better in a little bit lower light if you can see I added some risers in here just to give the cabinet some height that's a good trick to do if you're trying to maximize your space just get some like risers or something and stack plants on top and then you could put some like underneath or in front of it then we have like the mother plant bro marks over here uh, one of the Hoyas that I have that doesn't fit at the top my little red spot uh, tricolor syngonium the Jose is up here and it definitely is getting really large and taking up a lot of space so i kind of just stuck it in the middle because i feel like it fills the gap pretty well and then next to it is actually my white princess which is getting quite big and bushy and then in the corner we just have a few moss pole plants the mandula the epipremnum my amy Durium, and then my little milano down there and then this plant right here is my cirrusis mirabellus so i hope you guys enjoyed this cleaning and restyling my ikea cabinet video and i will see you guys in my next one bye